हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द चैनल डेवाप्स विजय टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट हाउ टू डाउनलोड नेक्सेस रिपोजिटरी व्हाट इज द यूज ऑफ नेक्सेस रिपोजिटरी हाउ टू कॉन्फिगर द नेक्सेस और द आर्टिफैक्ट्री इन मेवन प्रोजेक्ट डू द बिल्ड एंड अपलोड द आर्टिफैक्ट इन द आर्टिफैक्ट्री और नेक्सेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वाई आई हैव सेलेक्टेड दिस टॉपिक नेक्सेस okay so nexus is a uh, is a artifact repository where we keep our binaries where we manage our binaries um, just like the source code for source code management we have a github bitbucket git similarly for binary we use either we use artifactory or artifactory jfrog or nexus Uh, jfrog is a paid one you will find the free versions also trial version also but nexus is a free version to achieve the ci cd in your project suppose you have code in your github source code repository there you do the change you do the building uh, on your one of the jenkins slave agent using the jenkins continuous integration tool once you are done with the building you have to deploy this on multiple servers multiple environments so to achieve that after building you have to upload that artifact which is generated out of your java project or dot net project into the artifactory or nexus here we will be using the nexus uh, as a repository for binary repository uh, let's go ahead first go to the google uh, type nexus sona type download okay don't go into the first uh, uh, url which you get it go into the next one help sona type this one i'll give the link into the description click on this okay scroll down if you see download nexus repository 3.49 windows unix ox so you can download this zip file okay you have so many other options also you can download the older versions also but let's take the latest i have downloaded it and kept it here let's expand it i'll ex expand into the same location even i will go through the issues which i have faced while installing the nexus uh, i will not directly show you the success story i will show you the failure also then we will go ahead and install it and use the nexus so you can see this was my location it has extracted it it has created two folder sona type work and nexus 3.49 go into the nexus you can see all the files here if you go inside the bin you will have the nexus.exe okay if you click on this it will say the publisher could not be verified are you sure you want to run this software if you click on run nothing will happen one blink will happen and it will not do anything okay so how do i install this so what you have to do is you have to use the command line for installing the nexus over command line first open the command prompt command line you, you how did i open this you just type here cmd and click enter it will open you the command line see i have opened two command line let me close the so it has opened the command line okay now if you do a command dir it will tell you what which all files are present here if you give nexus nothing is happening right so running for running the nexus or for installing the nexus for running the nexus you have to give nexus slash run if you are able to see now nexus is running okay you can see started sona type nexus so now nexus is running but this is not installed we just started one instance of nexus okay if you want let's browse it let's go to the google give the local host and nexus by default port is 8081 click on that 
you can see it has loaded the nexus on localhost 8081 but as soon as the nexus will load here it will throw some error in your uh, command line you can see with certificate error okay but we can ignore this certificate error this is needed for the https connection since we are going to use this into our local box so we do not have to fix this but right now only process is running as soon as we come out of this process process will end and we will not be able to browse our nexus anymore you can see it's gone and the nexus is shut down right so now how how do we install the nexus permanently on the my windows box and keep on using for our ci cd process okay so for that command will be nexus exe install and give the service name i'll give nexus repository service click on enter now if you see the another error could not open scm manager okay why this error if you have to install anything you have to run that as a administrator so for doing that what you have to do is you have to open the command line type cmd right click this run as administrator one pop up will come click on yes you can see one command line has come as a administrator now let's go to this location copy this cd paste this i went to that location let's fire this command which has failed in admin admin command line you can see installed service right let's see whether service is installed go to the search button again type services click on this services one window will open type n you can see nexus nexus repository service okay if you see this is not running since we have just installed it so for starting either you can start it from the services click on this start click on this click on start it will start your nexus repository or through the command line also you can do it since for automation and all you have to use the command line type start starting service if you see here nexus repository it is still not running let's refresh this and it's running so this is how we install the nexus in our windows box nexus is a artifact repository where we store our binary in a uh, numbering fashion release fashion okay so right now nexus is starting up it will take couple of minutes since it will do the db setup and all Uh, once after a couple of minutes your local host 8081 will start working you can see i have refreshed couple of times and now the nexus repository is up and running now this nexus is running as a service in window every time when windows will boot it will automatically come up so this is all about the nexus next how to use this and where this is coming in a ci cd okay you can see and one more important thing in nexus repository okay if you go to the browse option if you see uh, we have maven central public release snapshots all related to maven and nuget okay two important thing maven release and maven snapshots what is the difference between these and what is the use of this suppose you are working on uh, your local environment and you keep on committing it and you are keep on pushing the changes so in a snapshot you can you will keep on overriding or creating a new release but it will get deleted okay those are not fixed once you have tested your artifact you can move or you can do a release into your maven release so that's why that is a fixed you cannot override those so here in snapshots automatically time stamp will come and you keep on uploading the artifacts so that is the difference between maven release and maven snapshots snapshots is for development environment Re release is for fixed it's for client you can release the artifacts or the you can release the library to the clients how do we set up the username and password first admin username and password in nexus if once you click on the sign in by default if you say your admin username password is located in this location okay so you have to give the username as admin and password whatever password file it is mentioning you have to go there okay so 
you have to go there so let's go to the uh, nexus and our password file which location password file open this with notepad plus plus copy this and paste it here click on sign in no thanks next if you see as soon as i logged in it is asking me to change the password so i will give admin as username i will give the password also as admin but you guys select the more strong passwords okay if you see one pop up button has come configure anonymous access enable anonymous access that means by default user can search browse download components from repository without credential this consider the security implications for your organization disable so it's up to you i will for now i will enable the anonymous access click on next the task setup has been completed enjoy your nexus repository finish if i click on sign out now and if i click on sign in again i have to give the admin as username admin as password click on sign in i am able to sign in so this is how the first password admin password username and password setup is done okay next we are going to configure the nexus repository in our uh, maven repo if you see this project which i had created using the uh, maven archetype project for which i have already created a video you can follow the i button so this sample project we will we are going to clone it in um, local configure the pom.xml and we will try to build and push it into the nexus repository okay so this is like complete flow from development till the uploading artifactory to the nexus let's clone this take the url okay open the git terminal git terminal i have opened it let's clone our repo git clone paste that url click enter i have cloned my github repo hello maven hello world okay here you open the pom.xml right now we are going to add the configuration for nexus repository for that you have to add the distributed management flags uh, i'll give all these urls uh, so that you can refer the pom.xml for these files okay you can see i have added this distributed management so what is the use we'll go through it this is the distributed management tag this is the end of tag okay if you see this is the snapshot repository tag i have just given a name snapshot nexus just a name with a comma uh, with a space snapshot nexus i have given the url http localhost 8081 repository maven snapshots how do i get this url let's go to the ui if you go to the ui if you click on browse okay if you see the maven snapshots and maven release you just copy this maven snapshots if you see localhost 8081 repository maven snapshots so similar thing i have given it here so this configuration is for pushing the artifact into the snapshots another one if you see release nexus just name release nexus repository with maven release just come back to the nexus ui maven release is this is repository just click on copy this this will give the pop up copy this and paste it here so distribution management this setup is done in pom.xml okay for snapshots and release now the next is since we have given the username and password for our nexus so without providing the username and password our maven upload will not work and there is no way we can add the username and password inside pom.xml so for username and password you will always have to edit the settings.xml for the maven which you are going to use this settings.xml can be present in the software where the maven bin is present or it it can be present in .m2 folder okay so let's go and find where is my maven installation open cmd 
type where maven it will tell you where maven is installed where you can see clearly maven is installed here okay copy this location and let's go to let's go to that location so i have come to that location okay here if you see you can go to the conf here you see the settings.xml click open this in notepad okay if you see everything is commented out here but you have to add the username and password for your nexus okay so for doing that you have to go into the servers location if you see servers this is the servers directory here you who you have to add one entry for server two entry for server since we have two repository so we are going to add the two entry for the servers why two entry i will explain that also if you see release nexus is the id username is admin password is admin again i have closed the brace for server here open the server again a snapshot nexus admin and admin it is like i have done a setup for two but for you you do not have to do the setup you can do a single setup also but i am going to show you both the setups okay if you see id here is snapshot nexus release nexus same thing i have updated into our maven uh, software installation in settings.xml if you see release nexus and snapshot nexus admin admin save this okay so these two are the things in maven which you have to save it okay rest is the build command this is our project okay open the command line here we are in the command line where the pom.xml is present fire the command maven mvn clean deploy so this is the important part in maven we have a multiple build life cycle if you do the install it will not push the artifact into the nexus only the deploy or the publish will only push the artifact into the nexus so we always use deploy okay when you fire enter you can see as you can see uh, it has um, built our project uh, java project and it has uploaded into our nexus okay you can see right let's validate over the nexus ui okay for that go to the maven release click on html view that way it will be easy com devops demo this is a group id this is artifact id and this is the version and this is our jar file you can see this is our jar file and all the pom.xml is there now it has picked if you if you are wondering it has picked automatically the repository uh, release repository why not a snapshot repository so what you have to do is you have to edit the pom.xml and type a snapshot if you give the snapshot word it will automatically take this snapshot uh, repo and push it there okay for that you have to again come do the build maven clean deploy this time it will be faster deployment and you can see it has pushed it to the maven snapshots right remember one thing it should be snapshot not snapshots here else it will not work that i have tried okay let's go here click on browse again click on the snapshot if you see a snapshots are here right now snapshot version is uploaded here so as we, if you are if you will trigger multiple times it will keep on creating with the timestamp 22 one this is the version this is the snapshot 2023 this is the time this is seconds and 1 2 3 like that it will keep on creating it okay so this is how we install so this is how we install nexus into our local windows box and then we configure the maven project to upload the artifact into the artif factory or nexus so that we can use this artifactory during the deployment 
and we can deploy into the multiple environment. This is the important link to do the setup of CI CD without the artifactory or the nexus. It's not possible to do the CI CD. Thank you for watching this video.